Okay, this is a, a part two video. The last one was making a, a sort of background and uh, from a photograph and taking it off from a photograph to a comic strip style. Uh, and I said I would um, show how you then put a figure over that scene. So this is doing that. I'm using a different scene, partially because I, I forgot how to do it and I had to, I had to recreate the process. But I didn't, hadn't forget about everything, just a bit. So I got the whole workflow on screen. You should be able to, if you take a screenshot of this, uh, I'll zoom in on this bit. And on that bit, though, that this is a completely simple, basic setup. I'm assuming you know it's just it's just a checkpoint, a Laura positive. There's nothing unusual about this at all. Everything interesting happens down here in this section. So I'm not going to talk about this section at all, really. But just a couple of things. So what I want to do is go from the the photograph of this girl that I've um, photoshopped in. I photoshopped her in over the background and I want her to live in this background. But I don't want my background to change. I don't want a lot, do I? Um, so how do, you, how do you do that? Well, I make my mask in Photoshop because I've, I've, cause I've put her in in Photoshop. I have the mask and I, uh, so I'm putting the mask in. So I'm not making the mask in Mask Editor here. You can do it that way. It's absolutely fine. In, in which case... Uh, you won't need this, um, but if you want to, you can make a better mask in Photoshop, is what I'm saying here, really. So this is my mask made in Photoshop. Uh, this is my uh, photo bash together, so I've cut her out of a photograph and I've dropped her into my scene. Uh, she didn't quite look at home, does she? So, um, so the, the job here is to make her part of the scene. So I have to use this mask, so I have to use this node, which is a mask uh, from colour. I'm sure you can find that um, node to load. Just go you know, search for mask and you'll, you'll find it in a... In, there's a pack of... I think it's called Essentials. And then you've got a standard encode for in-painting, which is very simple. Then we have... So this mask is related to this image. So this, the left-hand image. Now this is the same image because I don't want to lose all of her. And if I just do a straight in-painting, I get a different person entirely, but I sort of want her, um, which is wanting everything, really, isn't it? So this process is to make sure I've still got her in inside my mask, inside this area. It's going to do her, but a remade her rather than a, a completely new. So to do that, we come out into a straight encode and then into a slurp a latence, which is set at 50. 0.5. Don't ask me what slurp latents are. They're a mathematical wondrousness far beyond my intelligence and understanding. But essentially it means we've got a mix going on here and I, as far as I can work out it, it, it noises this area so the change only happens in this area. And I have, you have to have the denoise I've got it set at 65. You can experiment with this. It This number here decides how different she is from this one. So at zero in the denoise, she'll be the same as this image. It'll just make this image, essentially. And at one, it'll be a completely new person, you know, with no relation to her. So I've got it set at 65, so it's quite like her, but a little bit different as well. OK, so there she is, and here is the result. Let's put that up. And there you go. She's pretty much in there. Um, with the painting style. Now, there is one thing I have done here. When I made the background image, I had a Laura, and I've got the same Laura, and I've got the same prompt here. But whereas I've got a castle and a lake in the previous prompt to make the background image, here I've got my subject as the woman. But uh, all the rest are the same. There's very little in the prompt. I've just got uh, you may have noticed that AIs like making ladies with enormous breasts. Um, so I have to put that in every single negative prompt. So there we go, another quick look at that. And that's quite quite a simple process. Uh, you can, for, uh, if, for messing about, you can mess with this number, which decides that the mix between these two. At, at a certain stage, uh, it starts changing the background as well, which you probably don't want. So at this, at this setting, it'll change her and not the background. If you see the background, is identical in every way.
Right, I hope, I hope I've covered everything there. I'll just zoom out again so you can see the whole workflow. And there you go, putting a person from a photograph into a new home without changing the background. Okay, I hope that was useful and informative. And I'll put a link to the earlier video about how to make a background. It's not this background, but it's a similar thing. It's making a comic strip background. So you can go and look at that before you look at this. And th but this is really a separate process that I do afterwards. Okay, thank you very much.